Hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mail Merge to personalize invitations. So rather than sending the same invitation to everybody, you can add names to it. Like here, this invitation is for Josephine. Next invite is for Art. Next invite is for Donette, and so on. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a list of names. And I'm going to show you how this works with Excel. I actually have names and addresses in here. But depending on your invite, you might just need a first name or a first and last name. But I've got the data separated into columns here, and we're going to use Mail Merge in Microsoft Word to pull this information into the invitations. If you already have invitations in a Word document, then please feel free to use those. I'm going to create new ones just based on the templates that are available in Word, but the same step should apply to any other Word document. So I'll go up to File, and then for Templates, I'll go to More Templates. And I'll search for wedding invitations. Feel free to search for whatever makes sense for your occasion. And then we'll go with this one right here and create. I am going to turn on formatting here. I think it just helps to be able to see everything that's happening on the document. There we go. Now this particular invitation has actually got two per page. You'll see here, and it's double sided as well. So this is the back of the invitation and you need to set up the printer to get this to work. That is way beyond the scope of what we're doing here. Printer settings can vary widely, but I just want to show you how to pull in the names from Microsoft Excel. So let's say here, at the beginning of this You Are Invited, you want to put a first name. To do that, we need to set up the Mail Merge. So come up here to Mailings, Start Mail Merge, and we're going to go with Letters, and then next, you need to say, where is your information coming from? Where is the name information coming from? So we'll say, select recipients, use an existing list. And I'll browse to that Excel file that I showed you earlier with my addresses in it. Select that, open. I only have one sheet in that workbook. If you had multiple, just make sure that you're selecting the correct sheet here. And then very importantly, the first row of my data does contain headers this row right here. If yours doesn't, then just make sure you deselect this. But I'm going to leave that selected and say OK. Next, we need to insert our merge fields. These are basically placeholders for the data that's coming over from Excel. So insert merge field. And for this one, we're just going to use first name. So John, Mary, whatever the name is. And let's do a comma after that as well and a space. If you wanted to do a last name as well, you go through the same steps, add the last name, put a space in between the first name and last name, and so on. Now, because this template has two invites on each page, we need to do the same thing down here. So I'll just place my mouse right there in front of the text, insert merge field, first name, and then I'll do a comma and a space. And then we can preview what this is going to look like with the actual data by clicking Preview Results. And here you'll see Josephine and Josephine. <laughs> that is the first record in our spreadsheet right here. But that is obviously not what we want. We want Josephine and then Art and Lena and so on. So to make that happen, let me just stop previewing here. We need to put a next record field at the end of this block that's the first invite. So just put your mouse there at the very end and then come up here to Rules and next record. And you'll see that got inserted there. And then we need to do the same thing at the end of this second block here. So mouse all the way at the end, rules, and next record. And now if we preview results, you see that we're getting different names. If your whole invitation's on a single page, then you'll only need to do that at the end of that one page. But if you have two on a page, make sure you're doing it for both. And that's basically all we need to do. So let's click on Finish and Merge. We'll go to Edit Individual Documents. This will create a brand new document that you can then go in and kind of do a sanity check on before you print or anything like that. We'll merge all records. So that's going to grab everything out of the Excel spreadsheet. Here's our new document. So starting with Josephine, then Art, and then the back side of the invites, Donette, Simona, and so on. So all of those names coming over from Excel. Yay! 
Now from here, you can send them to the printer. And then there's also a good chance that you're gonna need some mailing labels as well. And you're in luck because I have a video for that too. Check out the link above and below if you need to know how to do a merge on those. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your party or wedding or baby shower or whatever the special occasion is.